Here we go, folks. This is our video in a deep dive of smoking pecan pellets. I told you in a couple videos ago that we're gonna do some uh, comparisons back and forth to see if all the hype is there. Um, I think we got a good idea for you. So this is the idea. We have chosen the Weber and the Traeger. The reason is, is throughout our time owning them, we feel like they are comparable in the fact that they run really close to temperature if I put it on 250. Okay, not all pellet grills run at 250 when you put them on 250. Uh, with their apps, you can see what temperatures they're running and they kind of stay neck and neck to that temperature. Uh, the Lone Star and the Pit Boss, um, the Lone Star is bigger and the Pit Boss runs hotter. The Pit Boss is also a lot bigger. We're going to do a chuck roast, a chicken, and a slab of ribs. So you got all your three major food groups. We are going to measure out the pellets in one uh, hopper to 20 pounds. The other one is going to be use b, &B Championship pellets. I use those all the time. Um, I feel like it's a great neutral pellet. I feel like it has worked flawless for me. Um, I think it's widely available. We find them at Academy all the time, 40 pounds for $19.99. I think it's a good value and I see nothing wrong with them. That doesn't mean there's not better pellets out there. I'm just comparing apples to apples. This is kind of like my control. Some things we're gonna notice is we're gonna try to taste side by side because I don't think I can taste something separately a few days later and say, oh, that was pecan pellets or oh, that was apple. I can't do that. And then also the pellet consumption. These two smokers right here combined are a difference of 48 square inches of cooking space. I'm not worried about what the size of the hopper is. I have cleaned out both grills 100%. Um, I didn't detail them, but all the ashes cleaned out and they should be ready to go. So it should be a fantastic video. Like I said, I have no bones, uh, good or bad with smoking pecan. They sent them to me for me to test out. I don't have two grills of the same. I'm not going to get two grills of the same, so this is the best I can do. This is a 20 pound box already. Interesting that it says 20.68. So we need to measure out 20 pounds of the other one. So we'll do uh, 22.1 uh, 22 pounds. There is 10 pounds, so we're going to dump that in the hopper. All right, this is the last batch. So with doing the math back and forth, you had to take out the weight of the bowl each time. So this is exactly 20 pounds. Well, that's a 20 pound hopper. So it looks like it holds 20 pounds. Make sure my pellet thing's closed. It's 8.47 in the morning. Let's fire them up, 2.50. Just thinking about the time period, uh, like I said, we've got chuck roast, chickens, and ribs. I think the chuck roast is gonna take the longest, so we're gonna cook those first. I've had these in the refrigerator drying overnight. The seasoning choice is gonna be the same thing on all three pieces of meat. Uh, they're gonna be salt and pepper only. And I hate to do it, but I just feel like it's going to give us the best case scenario for the flavor if we can tell the difference. That's our base, salt and pepper. All right, 9 30 in the morning we're having problems out of our uh weber it won't come up to temp um i got disconnected from customer su customer support two different times so i said the heck with it i'm not going to deal with it i don't like dealing with this crap anyway so it's already made my day mad i'm gonna have to do something else right so the traeger has been hovering around 250 in about 15 minutes i'm gonna pull the pit boss out and uh the only difference is the pellet consumption you know may not be <sighs> fair because the pit boss is so big uh, but I'll put my internal thermometer in there and I'm gonna run it as close to the temperature as this as I can So we get the video going ultimately to me. It's about taste The good the bad and the ugly. I don't shy away from it Pellet hoppers clean I'm just assuming that since we already put 20 pounds in the Weber the rest of this is gonna be 20 pounds since it's a 40 pound bag
Alrighty, we're rocking almost two hours later when I started. What a morning. All right, we have the Titan set on about 235 because on our other temperature, we're hovering around 250. The Traeger's pretty close, about 250 from what we can tell with our testing in the past. So we're just gonna leave it alone. So the whole idea is, truck roast there and truck roast here. We're gonna give this about two hours before we start the ribs. I'm gonna leave that top shelf for the ribs. Chicken's gonna go there, ribs, and we'll just keep cooking. About an hour and a half later, uh, we're gonna start seasoning the ribs. So same thing with the truck roast, same thing with the ribs, same thing with the chicken, salt, pepper. And we also try to buy when we bought these uh, to be the same size. So whatever the price range was and the weight, we try to get as close as possible. So just trying to make everything as even and uniform as possible. Just give these a quick trim. Ooh, that one's got to cut right down the middle. Square it off pretty good, not bad. I'm just going to score the membrane. All right, we have some whole chickens. I'm just gonna do some mild trimming. Just take the excess off there that you don't need. I really thought about spatchcocking them because that's my favorite way to do chickens. But typically spatchcock cuts down the time on the grill since we're only focused on whether or not the pecan shells are worth it. I'm gonna leave them on the grill a little bit longer so I'm just gonna keep them whole. All right, almost exactly two hours. I'm going to take this off, put it down here. Throw a slab of ribs down. Just like that. We are going to keep these on the smoker for one hour at 250. Then we're going to bump the temp up to 275 for another hour. And then at that point, we'll put the chickens on. Alrighty. Roughly one hour later, almost right on the dot. Pull this out, start checking temps. Uh, seems like it's lagging behind. We are going to take the temperature up to, uh, the target temperature is 275. So let's do this. Cause this does run a little hot. And then on the Traeger. Yeah, this is running way ahead of schedule. Or not ahead of schedule. This is what I was thinking the whole time. I'm just moving the chuck roast. Maybe that's a cooler side of the grill. I'm not familiar with this 100% yet, but for this to be the lacking that far behind, see if we can't get into a hotter part of the grill. All right, we have our wireless uh, meat thermometers in there. So we're just gonna keep rolling.
Alrighty, I, like normal, I can't uh, control the rain. It's starting to come down. It looks like I'll be here the rest of the day. This is our very first look at what it's like about four and a half hours later. My first impression, the Traeger's on the right, the Pit Boss on the left. So the way you look at it, this right here is the Traeger. This right here is the Pit Boss. Definitely a different color scheme in the fact that it does look a little bit more bronze, a little bit more deeper in color. Smell-wise, this one smells smokier, but just because you smell it doesn't mean you taste it. So the only thing I have right here is just some beef stock. On the smoker they go into about 210 degrees. We'll take them off and we'll start letting them rest. The good news is this chuck roast has caught up to be 100% with the other chuck roast just by moving on the grill. Once I pull both slab of ribs, I'm going to adjust the temperature on both grills to roughly 325 because I like that crispy skin. And that gives us a full range of what the pellets can do. All right, guys, there we go. We have the smoking pecan and we have the B&B &B pellets. That's what I'm excited about. Yeah. The chuck roast. We did this on the Weber hack and came out fantastic. I knew I'd find a reason to do it again. Alrighty, we got everything out. This is the smoking pecan, and this is the B&B Championship pellet. I'm gonna cut just a little bit of each one, stack them over the black cutting board, and see if we can try to get a fair representation of each one. I know one thing. <sighs> Looks good. Moment of truth, just color wise, I think they look extremely similar. Smokering wise, I don't see much difference at all. When it comes to the beef, definitely I think a deeper penetration of smoke on the beef. Yep. Right? I think the color came out a little bit bronzer, a little bit like more uh, deeper in color overall on the beef than it did on the other one. There's a little bit more pink, it's still light though. Not as much, not as pronounced. On the chicken, 100%, no offense or buts. The one that came off the Traeger was darker. It might have faded now in the light, but we knew it right away when we saw it. Um, that does not mean that there's not any flavor or anything like that. So we're gonna have to test it out. <laughs> That's good chicken. What do you think about just salt and pepper? Crazy or just? That was good. It's super good. I tasted the pecan. Let me taste. Here, cut me. One hundred percent difference. Mm -hmm. Am I crazy? No, you're not. 100% difference. It's not even night and day. This one does taste sweeter. Yeah. I feel like. I think it has more smoke. Yeah. I know what you're saying. It came off the trailer and off the pit boss. Like I said, I don't have two different grills. Most people at home that don't have two different grills. Two of the same, you mean? Yeah. I'm not saying it gives an offset style smoke. I'm just saying that there's more smoke there. there I would say yes. Give me another piece of the skin. Maybe seven or eight out of ten. Like I don't even know what a ten out of ten would be. I don't know if I've ever had it. I really. <laughs> and that's like a three or four. Like there's a big gap. In in level of smokiness, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a big gap, right? I agree with that, a hundred percent. We're on the same page so far. Get your favorite bite. Mine's got a little fat in it. Whichever one you want. That's got a little fat in it too. Half fat, half beef. All right, so mine's a. Well, here, let's try this one again. Should we sip coffee or water? <laughs> 
a palate cleanser. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's dang good. Damn, chuck roast on a smoker like a brisket is one of my favorites. That's true. That's good. That is... You ate both of them? No. I had this first. Okay. Night and day difference. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A hundred percent. It's not even close. I didn't think... I, I honestly did not think we would be able to tell the difference this much. One hundred percent smoking pecan. So far, yep. So much so that I would... Now, I would be interested to test one kind of meat but reverse the grills. Yeah. And see, is it because the Traeger smokes more? You know? I'm glad you said that. It's funny how she said that. Great <laughs> sentence. We have tested the Ironwood against the Lone Star on its basic feature. No added wood chips, no extra smoke, no extra smoke, side by side on ribs, and we couldn't tell the difference with B&B, correct? That's true. We also did a rib competition between the Pit Boss, the Weber, and the Traeger. We did all B&B pellets. Could we tell a difference in the smoker on the generic setting at 250? No. They all tasted the same. <laughs> now you've answered the question. And that's why I struggle with, if you ask me four days from now, if I took a bite of this and you're like, hey, what was that cooked with? I don't think I'd be able to tell, which is why it's so important to get each cut of meat today and compare it side by side when it's fresh in the mouth, I think would be able to, to have the biggest. Yep. Okay. Let's try the ribs. <laughs> I got to be honest. I'm amazed at the difference. I truly am. Clean bite. Mm-hmm. Not fall off the bone. Can we talk about how perfectly cooked everything is, too? <laughs> it helps. One thing I do want to get praise for is after dealing with smoking pecan, I flat out told him my opinion before this video happened, what I wanted to do, and I would not have taken the pellets if I felt like my opinion was going to be swayed or changed. I'm not paid. I'm not endorsed. Nothing like that. This is 100%. Hey, here's your pellets. Do with it what you will. We're confident in our pellets. And I said, fine, I'm going to put it through what I think I can put it through. So I appreciate that from companies sometimes. Uh-huh. I think it's the most close on the ribs, I would agree. There's a just that hair smokiness on there. I'm not smoking a sweetness. And that could come from the pecan. Smoked pecans are a little bit more expensive. I do know that people substituted, you know, like a lot of times people put pellet tubes, smoke tubes on a smoker. That'd be a great way to add addition. Uh, without just burning through all the pellets because you got to wait for the pellet grill to start up. You got to wait for the pellet grill to die down. So, you know, you can always add it like that. I'm just going to flat out tell you, I'm a, I'm a fan. I have been true and true on the Flat Top King and I've been true and true on here. Side by side, it's undeniable. I can't imagine going forward without something somehow. I'm not going to use them exclusively, but, uh, you know, like mixing in, you know, that could cut some of the cost. If you mix like, you know, the, the Pit Boss even has that... Uh, separated divider oh yeah you know you yeah. could do you like your main bulk of 20 uh 20 dollar uh, bnb and then throw some pecan in there Don't click off the video yet. I was so excited about the information that I found. I thought there's no better way to have somebody else test it besides me and my wife because I don't want to relay the information to you and make it seem like I'm trying to push a product. So I called Brandon from TMG Pits. He's just right down the road and I said, I need like a neutral person to come in here that could give a crap less about the pellets or the smokers and just taste it and what do you think? He was busy that day. He said the true way to do it is to reverse your, your idea. Now, what we've done, we've taken the pellets out of both uh, pellet smokers and we reversed the pellets. So to recap, now the Pit Boss has the smoking pecan pellets. 
Now the Traeger has the BNB pellets and we actually have the Weber up. I can get into that to a whole nother video. That's not what I want this video to be about. So the Weber is up and working all on 250 and here's the results. Do I get to know which one's which? Not yet, okay. not yet. So your point today is to taste this and okay. see if you can taste what I thought was excitement because right. I thought there was so much of a gap. Yeah. And I know that since you build American steel muscle and you're all wood, that this would be a like perfect that. situation for you to see, okay. is there a difference between the pellets? Appearance wise, okay. These, and you know which one these are, right? I do, yes. yes. Okay. So these two right here, to me, look better than this one. Yes. Like, these two have better color, mm -hmm. right off the bat. Okay, let's cut into right. them, babe. <laughs> we gotta do this on two. Yep. And I'm, I'm doing the left breast because okay. the left breast gets less workout because most of these are right-handed chickens. <laughs> okay, I get that, I get that. <laughs> Fair enough. Honey. Uh, Amy was taking it. <laughs> <in. laughs> where are you going with this? I mean, that was the best joke you've come up with in a while, babe. I don't know. know. He's pretty good at some dad jokes. <laughs> I think we need, we need to have a, a session with our Neil's dad <laughs> jokes. <laughs> so, I'll, so I'll get the first slice, okay. Mm -hmm. So we're trying so, this one first. This is the first one. Number two. That's the first one. A bite for the first one back. Which I guess I can go back. <laughs> we got plenty of chicken. Our crew. Before Brandon picks that up, I just want you guys to see that. I mean, just. Now, my opinion, I will say this too. I don't, you can put it in there or not, but my opinion will not be swayed by your opinion, okay? Some people will change their mind when someone says mm -hmm. something, oh yeah, you're right. It's not gonna be, my opinion is made up no matter what is said, so. And I may have to take a bite of one and two again. Mm -hmm. My opinion changed, so. <laughs> um, well, you shouldn't have had an opinion yet besides color. Did you make this right? But I've eaten no. before. Oh, the last time. Oh, okay, okay, I got you, I got you. My opinion has completely changed. Did you eliminate that one because you thought that one was lacking flavor? Correct. 100%. This, these two have better flavor, okay? Yes. Now, I will be the first to tell you that I don't think these two have much of a smoke flavor. They have a pepper flavor, okay? I've tasted very little smoke on these two. This one, and this, is, this is no shot. I don't know what they are. This is no shot to any manufacturer pellet. Poor. This one did not. It doesn't taste like much. Taste, you can taste the pepper in it, but it really lacked flavor. Um, these two had flavor, and the reason I said well, no matter what you said, I'm not gonna change my mind. Is when I thought I'm fitting this one, but this one I couldn't tell the difference. And I'm curious if Neil was making quite a joke on me, and these two come off the same grill, same color, because <laughs> that would be funny too. But these two, there's very little difference. This one's a big difference. We had a discussion off camera. Mm -hmm. We both came to the same agreement. The Traeger itself, however the algorithm works puts off more smoke flavor. And I swear to you, since day one I've had it, I've never thought that. Not until you compare things side by side by side. The second in our test was a Weber put off the second amount of smoke. And the third in the smoke test, both times, because we thought it was the pellets, was the pit boss. Yeah, there's, there's definitely a difference. So in my original excitement, when I called you when this video was over originally, I was like, dude, you've got to try these smoking pecan pellets. Like they were like way above. I would like to say this, with the smoking pecan pellets inside of the Traeger, I feel like it was still a stronger flavor than the B&B pellets in the Traeger. Yes. And you agree? I do agree with that. But so, that was over two days ago. Yes, it was. It was, hard, yeah, that was. Agreed, yeah. it's a hard comparison. But yeah. tasting this and noticing like, this gap here, I think the gap was even larger. All right guys, so for what it's worth, that's why I run Brandon over. I want to give it a true, as close to test as possible, because I know people are going to tear the video apart, so at least we tried. <laughs> you did and that, try. And that's what it's about. <laughs> hey, disclosure, I am not a judge in any kind. I, I like barbecue, a redneck from East Tennessee, and, but you can taste a difference. Um, and there's also a difference in the color too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and, and, but that didn't, I was, I could close my eyes and tell you the difference in these. Just by eating them. Yeah. 100%. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the notification button. Share with your friends. Peace.